my God, my YNR fans, we got to talk about today's episode. Chance admits that he saw what happened between Devon and Abby coming. Elena and Nate reunite and Amanda explodes in anger over Devon's cheating. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless recap for November 9th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what happened. So it brought us back to that cliffhanger that left off yesterday when Amanda and Chance arrive over at Devon's place and find Abby and Devon naked and in each other's arms on the sofa. Amanda was like, what the hell? Now, Chance take one look. He walks out. Abby jumps up, covering herself, and Amanda is pissed. Now, while Abby is trying to apologize, Chance is outside. He's thinking about what the heck just happened. She watches Chance get on the elevator. He let the door close in her face. Um, Abby, what the heck did you expect? However, the wrath of Amanda is about to strike. That's what you want, the tall blonde? It just happened, okay? You didn't plan this. I didn't know you were coming home. Oh, no, of course not. My presence was definitely unexpected and clearly unwanted. Uh, mm, no? Then what's wrong? Please, tell me, Devon. I wish I could explain. I wish you could, too, because I am standing here wondering what the hell is going on! I'm wondering what the hell, too. I don't have an explanation for what we did because it was spontaneous. It just happened. Mm -hmm. You don't know how this happened? Let's see. The wall, the stairs, the floor, the couch. You were done, and then you started making out again because Abby wanted to relish in the moment. That's a rundown of what happened. Said that already. I know I did. I just want a chance to talk to you about this so I can try and make sense of it, too. You know what? I think you're right. Let's talk this through. But first, put the rest of your damn clothes on. Um, yeah, Devon, put those six-pack, those abs that definitely wasn't for Amanda's eyes that you gave to the tall blonde that just walked out. Yeah, Amanda don't want to see all that, so put some clothes on. Now, she gets a drink. He got the nerve to ask why she returned home early. Amanda got a response for that one. What does that matter? He claims that he's worried about her mom and yeah, Amanda. Oh. Her is still alive, if that's what you're trying to ask. She's regained consciousness, but she's not doing particularly well. See her recovery from her stroke. She's not progressing the way that the doctors had hoped. And Devon is so sorry. How sorry were you, Devon? Really? Is that why you're rolling around naked with Abby? Say that I'm sorry to make you come home to this after everything you've been going through with your family. Yeah, well, I am sorry, too, because my mom is going to need constant care and attention, and I'm going to have to spend a lot more time in Virginia. That's why I came home, so I could tell you in person, because I felt like I owed you that much, because you've been so incredibly patient. And that she actually owed it to him to tell him this in person, and she calls herself even clueless but Devon said that they were leaning on each other for support and things went there which is why this hurts her even more and then she asked him this is that supposed to make me feel better because it doesn't it just hurts even more because I did not see this coming well Amanda you might have didn't see this coming but Chance yeah he did we're gonna talk about him in a little bit but this is a very messy situation. Devon, what were you thinking? She even questioned him, even this. This was going on. There's nothing going on is what I'm trying to tell you. This just happened. Be honest, Devon. How many times did this just happen? Is it the whole time that I've been gone? Or, or did it go back even further? Was it, were you guys sneaking around while I was here in town? Amanda, listen to me when I say this to you. Where I'm everything in my life, this is the first and only time this has ever happened. 
then I guess. Well, yeah. Uh, the only other thing is, is that this thing between Abby and Devon has been brewing for a very, very long time. So much so that, like I said, Chance could see it. But okay, Devon. It was just my luck, huh? I walk in on the one and only time that you and your dear friend decide to roll around on the couch together. And she even asked him, you know, how could you do this? How could you do this to me again? And she thinks it was a mistake in forgiving him the first time. Now, he doesn't get why it happened. And he was like, it wasn't the same as last time. He, you know, was talking about he don't want to insult her about making up excuses. She's grateful, but she's disgusted. And she actually calls it a relief. You know the one good thing about my timing? I walked in here with a backpack and I'm going to walk right back out. Defending you to Nate, supporting you all the while you're rolling around here with Abby like two teenagers in the backseat of a damn car. Well, Amanda, you missed a whole lot. You think that's what they look like? Uh, yeah, again, the wall, the stereo, the floor, and the stairs. I don't blame you. I also want you to know that I love you. That's the truth. You know what? I believe you. I do believe that you love me in your own warped way. But if this is your love, I don't want it. Well, Devon, it looks like you are S-O-L. I love you. Uh, Devon, she doesn't want it. Go to your son, Devon. The baby cries. She tells him to go to him. She has a life she needs to go back to, and she takes off. Well, Devon, that's the consequences for your actions. And now, hey, the same thing that you uh, did to Nate with Elena? Well, guess what? It came back. Oh, well, too bad. So sad. Okay, so over at Society, Adam and Jack are joking about how HR doesn't joke about anything, and then they see Nick. Now, Adam makes jokes at his brother's expense as Jack and Nick try to talk. Nick leaves, and Jack questions Adam, who eh, kind of shrugs it off. Now, he doesn't want to talk about why he and Nick are sniping at each other. Jack just wanted to see how Adam is doing with his new job. Now, Adam is feeling rejuvenated. Jack said, eh, I notice you've been distracted, though. Now, Adam reveals that Chelsea told Johnny about being his birth mother. And Connor knows now, too, and both of the kids are struggling. They bonded over it, but Adam's unsure of how he's really feeling. And there's also something going on with Chelsea, but he doesn't know what that is. Now, Jack worried, ooh, it's bad. But Adam says that she stopped communicating with him on Halloween night. Now, she's been confiding in Billy, and Jack finds this odd, but says, you know, hey, give it some time. Billy's probably trying to help. Now, Adam says waiting isn't his strong suit. It's how he lost Sally. Jack wants to discuss it, but, you know, he doesn't want to discuss it, but he does anyway and admits that Sally moved on with Nick. Now, Jack has been there with Billy and understands and is sorry that he's dealing with it too, knowing it's not easy. Adam is grateful that Jack has even given him a listening ear. And he talks about hurting Sally and that he loves her more than he thought that he could love anyone. And Jack tells him, you know what? Just let her know. So now over at Newman Media, Victoria is offering advice to Nate since she's good at solving other people's problems, unlike her own. Now he thanks her again and they head into his office only to find Sally still packing. Now she realizes, meaning Sally, that Nate is her replacement and Victoria says that, uh, I thought you'd be gone by now. Now Sally welcomes Nate. She tells him that she left some notes for him on the desk. Victoria asked, uh, do you need security to help you get out with all those multiple boxes? But Sally says, no, I got it. Now, Nate hopes that she knows that mm, it's only business and she knows that it's nothing personal on his part. Now, she wishes him much success and, of course, he appreciates it. Victoria takes him to meet the other staff and she trusts that Sally is going to be gone once they get back. 
Now, Sally looks at congratulatory notes from both Nick and Adam, telling her to shine bright. She leaves and Nate and Victoria return and Victoria is impressed at how he handled himself with Sally and the rest of the staff. And he wasn't overbearing. He just knows how he feels when, you know, ideas are being dismissed and he thinks they need balance and stability. And Victoria is thrilled that he's on board and congratulates him on the job. Well, just in that moment, uh, somebody arrives. None other than Elena. That's the way it should be. A beautiful office. I knew she couldn't stay away. Elena arrives, congratulate him on his new office, on the new job. Victoria leaves for a budget meeting so they can talk. Now, Nate was worried that you know of course he wouldn't see elena again and she reiterated that she did return to get back together with him but they were at a stalemate they both hate it and this happens prove to you i am still the man you fell in love with So, I guess it's safe to assume that these two are officially back together. So, Chance arrived home and started pacing and rubbing his chin as he looks at the family photo. And, yeah, he's not happy. And, of course, he's not happy because he's done a lot for that girl. And only for her, because she is so me, 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 her deciding to sleep with Devon. And guess who strolls through the door? Chance, hi. I'm so glad that you're here. Please hear me out. Please let me explain. Uh, Abby, Chance doesn't want to hear anything you really have to say at this point. You are trained to observe people, but there's no way you could have seen this coming. But I did, Abby. Uh, Abby, sweetie, to the fans' dismay. We've seen it coming for a very long time, but okay. There's been moments between you two that went beyond friendship. It's something deeper. That's not true. And of course, she goes in on how they were in a rough place and Chance didn't come home. And she went to Devon, who was going through a hard time too, playing the violins. They were supporting each other the way they always do. And it turned into something else. She is so shaken up. And yeah, it didn't come out of nowhere, Abby. Sorry. Yeah, that don't happen just between friends. And maybe I'm wrong. But in this case, yeah, we saw it coming. And she's crying that they've only ever been friends. And Chance was like, um, yeah, you depend on him more than you do me. And he even asked if she was trying to get revenge for him on their argument last night. And of course, she denied it. She was upset, but only wanted to talk it out. Chance reminded her that Devon was with her for months alone. And then he needs the time and space. So she agrees to let him figure it out. And he walks out on Abby. The crazy thing about all of this is before he left, he told her he about to go find somebody else. Somebody who is going to be happy with him, who he can make happy. His expectations has changed and it don't include her. And it's time that they face that reality. So yeah, it was all about you. Well, guess what? You're by yourself. So now over at Crimson Lights, Sally arrives and she tells Nick that she just finished cleaning out her office when Victoria introduced her to her new replacement and firmly told her to get out. Now, she doesn't blame Nick, but she wishes that she was that decisive, especially about romance. Now, Nick is guessing, eh, you miss Adam, huh? She was like, no, I miss you. And he misses her, but doesn't want to be in a love triangle with Adam. And he says, well, this isn't the first time this has happened, and usually it doesn't end well. And he encourages her that you need to go figure this out and figure out what you want. She claims she wants a drama-free relationship and a balance of her personal and professional relationships as well. And she has grown out of the phase of conflict, which usually includes Adam and wants stability and positive energy and you know that alludes to Nick. So 
I guess we'll see Sally and Nick again on screen as a couple. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.